Amateur Podcast in the Galaxy. But what but are, are we? we? We are here to explain to you what we are, because we kind of just figured it out. We just went through an existential crisis together, <laughs> Anne and I pre-gaming this episode, and we really wanted to make sure we were explaining with the right words what we are, all right? So what is stream our consciousness? Right now, you're actually streaming our consciousness. And the only way we can translate our consciousness to you is through words. And as we are constantly speaking, we are infinitely thinking. So we can never actually tell you what we're thinking because as we tell you, we are still thinking. So the streams of consciousness is this continuum of ideas and it continues through the day, it continues through the night, through our dreams, and it refreshes in the morning. And that is what Anna and I value the most when you're on that energetic, that stimulating stream of consciousness and you don't want it to end. And there's times where we're eating each other's words and we kind of mesh our streams together, even though we're separated by bodies. Through meta thought, our, our streams and our thought just enter the same idea world. And that's kind of how we thought about this podcast idea. Just well, we thought about this podcast idea and Anna was like, hey, Gabby, like you said stream, our con- stream my consciousness but I told you that like a summer ago. I'm like, wait, what are you talking about? Like that was, I thought I came up with that. And you're like, yo, I came up with that. I guess we're both like, both had the same idea or, or was it just so deep rooted in my subconscious? I didn't realize it didn't even come from me. You know, I was like, I don't know, but I'm like, oh, I became so attached to that. So I'm like, okay, let's, let's combine it and combine our brands together and just be stream our consciousness. And that's where we came up with Ghana. That's exactly that, that connection I had to Gabby, where Gabby and I were able to just drop everything, drop our most deeply rooted truths and put them out into the open and basically just like in front of us, like lay our truths in front of us and pick at them, question them, talk about them, relate to them. Like the connection I had, I was like, whoa, I've never met someone who is so willing to just like, you know, like, like, who asks herself these questions as well? Like, you know what I mean? Like, the question, like, me and Gabby are constantly questioning, and we're constantly pondering, and we're like, yo, if we're thinking this, and every single questioning that we have is our own reality and our own truth, what else is out there? Like, who else is out there? Like, who else ponders about this? Like, we're trying to connect with people that also question these things as well and like see what they make out of it like whether they make art whether they make shows music other podcasts like what are they wearing what are they doing like you know who are these people that also question like us and how do we connect to them how do we use a platform and find these people and connect with them and just continuously find other people who are in tune with the vibrations and the frequencies that are around them. That's what I think is unique about the stream of consciousness is me and Gabby, both of our thought processes, we're on completely like kind of different, I would say what, excuse me if I'm botching the fucking science behind this, but like same wavelengths, different frequencies, or maybe same frequencies, different wavelengths, like what? Like, excuse any music nerds out there want to put a comment below, please do. Um, but yeah, just like the streams and like the fluidity of it, the fluidity, the recycling of water, just the massive never ending process of just life. You know what I mean? Like life is just so, I would constantly think why life, I have lived so many short excruciating years. I think that was a quote I got from Jenna Marbles. I think one day she was like, life is so short, 
but so like excruciatingly long at the same time. So I'm like, whoa, yes, life is so short and so long at the same time. And how do we, who, who wants to ponder? Who wants to stop and be like, what is this? What, who are we and who are you? And show me what you know, you know what I mean? Like constantly seeking truth and finding a truth. And that's why me and Gabby are here. We're here to question and we're here to ask not to answer because every single individual's truth is their own, you know, and whether you, it doesn't match up to yours, it's still a truth and let's discuss it. Yeah, we are all experiencing this phenomenology of earth and human life. <laughs> so it's nice to enter the internet and kind of get that validation that other people are having the same thoughts. It's the best when we saw Midnight Gospel on Netflix. It was cool that they were normalizing these ideas into a cartoon uh, Netflix show that is the most popular platform in the world. Universe. And, like, in the universe. And it was it was really nice and refreshing to see and 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 see who comments on their posts and see who else is interested in these ideas yes you're like finally like people who just want to trip out on reality you know what i mean like they want to take it and like just i i loved it i just like i love that and like just gabby yeah, take it away with your analogy? Well, I, I really think um, YouTube is like this universe simulator that the protagonist in Midnight Gospel goes to, ev goes inside of every single episode. He picks a universe to go to. Let's check out planet Uga Oh, look, you know, planet this, presses on it and goes in. That's us searching on YouTube. Let's check out the the consciousness of Logan Paul and all his friends, you know, and then we're like inside his house. We're like, oh my, I'm like, bro, like, do I look good? I'm inside their house. Like, you know, I feel yeah. like I'm with them and I'm, it's like a simulator. YouTube is a simulator of just understanding other people's worlds and ideas and, and exactly. communicating that through these platforms that we all experience watch look up to yeah I'm like whoa like as Gabby mentioned like words like words are very very powerful and humans are very very powerful and whoa there's this y-o-u-t-u-b.com that I can go and just every every human is on it everyone is like like, I can access people to, like, through this, like, the world that, like, you know, we would be limited to in 200 years ago, or however long, like, what, like, internet's only been out for, what, 50 years, maybe? I guess so, like, we were so limited in our communication, and words are the most powerful way to communicate what we're feeling, you know, like, it's the first thing people always ask you, like, hey, like, how you feeling? You feel this? Like, what is what's going on? You know, like, yeah. People are constantly trying to communicate and give you that validation be like, hey, like, I'm also a human. You know what I mean? Like, we're both on the same reality, man. Like, hang on. <laughs> like, it's just like, I think it's cool. I don't know. I think it's cool. And I think humans are super awesome. And now there's this platform. There's these devices. There's a thing I can put in my hand that I can access hundreds and thousands of. Like, whoa, look at all the consciousness I can open up to and, like, see and think about and connect with and have fun. And, like, I wonder if anyone else is, like, like thinking about this stuff, too, and, like, find this video and they're like, yo, what? I also Wait, think that. people, why did I just transport inside their bedrooms? <laughs> yeah, whoa, you're in Gabby and Anna's bedroom. And, like, we're hanging out. It's just Anna and Gabby, like. I haven't seen Anna in, like, six months. <laughs> And it could still, you know, it's still a magnetic connection just through voice, just through words, just through sight. We could still feel very similarly than, than having to rely on the human touch or like, or the human present moment. She's not physically with me, but I can understand that her thoughts are and her words and her presence is. 
Exactly. And like literally like what like this must be mentioned because like ten minutes ago I was like crying. Like we were just talking about truth and like finding its source and like understanding that all truths are equal in a sense or like understanding that concept um but it's just like uh, like I, we like we both got very emotional and I like started crying because like why do I seek truth like why do me and Gabby seek truth and like why do we think like okay cool you guys like to like question reality like so what well like me and Gabby like like we've been through things and like I experienced a loss when I was younger and that is constantly have has driven to be like, well, whoa, whoa, like when you lose someone, your truth just dissolves, you know? So it just dissolved in front of my eyes when I was 16. And I was like, no, like, what? So like, there's other people that are like that, you know? Yeah. There must be more, you know? And then I, I remember, see, I don't listen to Billie Eilish that much, but I think her voice is so amazing. Um, she has, I, I, I looked on her website, it's like, where do we go when we sleep? I'm like, yo, she thinks about this too? Yeah, like, that's uh, like this one question that I'm like, oh my goodness, like, what is the connection to the soul? Where do we go when we sleep? That was my, my main question, and I've been trying to figure that out. And just, not fi I'm not trying to figure it out, but just have a route to answers and yeah. and not just have nothingness I just want to something to think about but it just it's nice to to hear that other people have the similar ideas and whether that be because they experience similar things or yeah like what truths inform you you know like what have you gone through and like that's why I love stuff like humans of New York he like stops people he's like tell me like what like what what's the hardest thing you've ever done and to ask a stranger like someone you've never met who's holding a camera be like hey like I'm just a doc like I like listened to one of his interviews it was him telling it about his process he'd be like I would see someone I would just find interesting and I would just stop them and like approach and be like hey like I'm a documentary like this is who I am like you know like a like a document like what is it like a is a documentarian yeah, he's a journalist, you know what I mean? And like documentarian. He's a photojournalist, you know what I mean? Like Honey, like you know. He's he's um he's a photojournalist. And so like seeing him and like the best part was like he did it in New York City. Like the place of like the most beautiful people on fucking earth. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. like anything and any like anything and everything can be found in that city. And like him just being like, whoa, look at all the fucking minds that are out here. Like, I can talk to all of them. I can give these people, like, he's shown the lights of truth. You know what I mean? He would point the flashlight of individual, like, human beings' is souls and light and truth and be like, tell me about it. Like, let me write it and let me share it. You know what I mean? And he would share th thousands, hundreds of thousands, and like, like, he reached millions. His old book, like, because people wanted to connect. People would be like, whoa, this one individual, like, met his wife through this, or, like, lost a person through that. You know what I mean? So it reminds us that we're all human, that we're all suffering, in a sense, and through that suffering comes truth and beauty. So there's all of it. There's sadness and beauty in everyone, and, like, my desire to accept all of it. You know what I mean? And yeah. just be it. And so uh, that was the little rant on stream and now Gabby and I we're a philosophy podcast you know so philosophy according to Gabby is wisdom so philosophy is about being inquisitive every philosopher just asks and asks and asks and they ask about everything and anything and they don't have a correct method to do so they don't always have like a perfect answer most philosophers even question their own their own sayings or their own truths like philosophy I don't know what else can you take it away uh, Sophia that's wisdom and then Phil is for the love of for so it's for the love of, of wisdom and it's one thing that we're going to be consistent about is questioning and the problem with defining what our podcast what our brand is um besides saying philosophy is that we don't know how to direct 
what it is because everything the ideas we're talking about is constantly changing the state of the universe just changed from one month to another we saw it happen in a different country and we didn't think it was going to happen to us and we didn't prepare and it changed and worlds change ideas change so each week we don't even know what's going to happen next week we try to plan but all we know we're going to do is question to find more truth and that's why we're doing this video right now about our brand because we were questioning our own brand <laughs> we wanted to find the truth of our own brand and this is us trying to tell you in the best words we can because in our minds it's so clear but when it comes to words and business terms Anne and i are like wait this is more vague than we thought it was <laughs> And we are living through our Greek tragedy. <laughs> are our Socrates trying to question? And we are, we're philosophers. We're, I'm not technically a licensed philosopher. Gabby has that little leg up than I do, but studied a lot of uh, political philosophy and took a lot of philosophy courses, considered it as a minor, didn't pursue it. Um, and yeah, we're here. This is our Greek tragedy, and me and Gabby are the philosophers who are here to question and here to here to ask and here to connect and shine light on truth. And we don't know what that looks like, and it can be about any topic, but it's beautiful. It's like, it's understanding that topics run so deep, but we just have to take all of it with humor and like, understand that like hey we're all human whoa that's pretty deep but that's also pretty fun and like it's cool that we're all together and all able to talk and see each other and love and feel what we all feel and as Gabby mentioned like music is very powerful to us because we can feel the emotions that everyone like that music is designed is was created to have a user feel you know or have a listener feel so I know it's so beautiful. We we're talking before how the the emotion that Anna feels is love. Like we're listening to the same song, you feel love, you feel warmth, and I feel love and warmth, but we have two subjective feelings, but they still kind of overlap each other and find that one true form of love. And we both feel love, but it's just such we connected to whatever we experienced with love before and we experienced different things so everyone has their own idea of all these words and emotions and feel different things but it's cool to have art and music to kind of overlap those ideas and have this one tangible form to encapsulate it um this is it this is our time capsule this is me and Gabby opening up the YouTube simulator and screaming in it, hoping someone will listen. Hello! Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Our only subscriber is a snake, because <laughs> yeah. you can pick up the echolocation five days before an earthquake hits. Repeat that. A snake can pick up the echolocation of an earthquake five days before it happens. Wow. And that's, so Anna and I thought this was funny and we wanted to make a little skit with Midnight Gospel. <laughs> I don't know if it's too soon. I see a trademarked, um, licensed, I don't know, let's just say the words. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what are we we thought of echolocation and we're like, oh, bats, you know? And then we should do a cartoon with the perspective of the bat who started the corona and he's just flying around. They're like, yo, corona. He's like, I'm going to sacrifice my life. <laughs> I'm Jesus. The corona is like, he's equivalent to Jesus. And they're like, I'm going to sacrifice my life to ruin the human species. And hopefully this wipes them off the earth and we will be the majority guys. And the bat's like, yes, nocturnal for life. Like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, nocturnal for life. Yeah, they're like, yeah. It's they're, like the so angry, they're like so angry that they can't go out in the day. So they're like, fuck it, humans don't get to either. Like, <laughs> they're like, yeah. 
so um thanks for listening midnight gospel yeah stream our consciousness that would be a really cool um way to do some cartoon art you know I don't know, I just, I, like, find satire in, in, in situations like this and just find the cosmic comedy. Cos- yeah. There you go. Um, yeah, and it would be cool. Perspective is everything. Gemini season, hey, what's up? Uh, perspective is everything. Seriously. I mean, <laughs> I guess I'm trying to defend the perspective of the bat who gave us corona. That's not what I mean, but- <laughs> No, but yeah, it's like, you know, yeah, I agree with you. It's just funny. It's just funny, uh, a funny way to look at perspective. And, you know, Corona is the Jesus Christ to the bat. Yeah, with family that was flying around. (laughs) Like, what? Like, how do they know? How do animals know? Like, truths of just everything around us, you know? Like, it's one of my favorite things about philosophy. I took a philosophy 101 class. First, one of the first things I remember learning was like my professor pointing to a chair, being like, "Why is is this chair not real?" <laughs> and I was just like, "What? Like what? Like what?" And so like, because I always knew humans had truths, but like a chair, like what? Like no, it doesn't have truth. And he, she was like, "Why not?" You know? And I was like, "Oh, uh, I don't know." But like that's the point is like everything has a truth. Everything comes from a source, and like understanding those sources, what influences those sources, I don't know, like, what happens to those sources where they no longer exist in our body? What was I just talking about? It's like when the teacher asks you, what did I just say? And then we're just like, oh, like, I don't even know what I was just thinking. (laughs) I love that. (laughs) And you're just like, what did you just say? Isn't that funny? They're like, what did I just say? And I go, what did I just say? Because that's what they just said. <laughs> that would be some smart ass shit. That would be funny. You kids, she totally did that. But we're a philosophy podcast. Philosophy questions everything. Oh, you were talking about your philosophy 101 class and how she's like, is this chair not real? What's up? Oh, it was about truth. It's just understanding True. truth. Being like, yo, truth is so subjective. Like, it's so, it's so, so subjective. And I just love people who like to understand that and question their own thoughts and logic and not immediately accept the worlds or whatever people tell you to think like or do or I don't know. It's, no, it's it's cool. I'm trying to relate. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to relate. Um yeah. Did you guys know like philosophy extends to to math, which is the logic of of talking, how to break down words and sentences to a logical form. Math like, is ethics. The of science. What? Math is the language of science. Math is the language of science. Well, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. What did you say? Excuse oh, no, 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 no. I was just, no, you're good. You're good. Um, you were talking about, um, then philosophy is also ethics. Mm-hmm. What is good and bad? Why do we make the decisions we make? Where does that come from? Then it's politics. Mm-hmm. What are these policies? What, it, what are these laws that are put into play? Why are we following them? What is, what is society? What does a good society look like? Yeah, I fucking love that shit. Um, my favorite course of my of ever in economics was political economy. It was like, but everyone obviously like you're trained to like study economics all your four years, and then at the last class you take your senior year, they tell you it's not real. No, oh, come on. They're just like, oh, all of those things were theories all of these things are just philosophy. Like, you know, like, what do you mean? The world is this, 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 and, like, finance has these rules. Like, they're just theories. Yeah, and then all of all the people are all like, oh, yeah, like, okay, cool. Like, uh, great. But, like, no math. Like, best part of the class. And then Anne is tripping. Like, I'm, I'm like, my mind, like, whole, like, in, like, deep into, like, deep into, uh, like, Mar- like, <laughs> like, J- like, J.M. Cain's, like, just, 
deep into that shit and I'm like whoa they're they're philosophizing about money you know like a new thing humans made and they're like wait this flow of this new thing that we just made is really cool like they start philosophizing on different things and like what money means to them like that's my favorite thing about jm keynes he's like what is money you know what i mean like these like they're they're like economic philosophers like political economists like they they're questioning the logic that dominates our reality you know what i mean that's what i really like they're coming up with new ways or and i think right now we're living through our greek tragedy we're living through trying to change everything because if we go back to normal whoa like god help the human race but yeah i just like philosophy is is beautiful because it transcend space and time that's kind of the point of it is everything has a why and everything has an answer but those answers also are completely subjective they lead to more questions every answer some answers are not answers you know what i mean like silence can be an answer like everything is an answer wow philosophy man like shit's boggle my mind it's just like a it's just like a sober mind trip you know what i mean like it's good stuff it's good stuff and reading and digesting and struggling through the philosophy like that's why it's hard it's hard and so like we we constantly are like yo brand like how do we tell people how to quickly digest this in in a classical entrepreneurial elevator pitch as you and i as our listeners know me and Gabby are like love entrepreneurial studies like we have an entrepreneurial spirit because there's this cool not this cool thing but there's a system that goes on around us and we're interested in it we're interested in it's working is and being a part of it we're graduating college and they're like well you're a part of you're a part of the world now what do you do what makes you happy like how do you connect how do you create how do you find cosmic humor how do you go so deep and so light at the same time. I don't know, that's, that's your vibe. So if you're into that. Yeah, and that's why we think we're doing this and that's our goal of this. We left college and we're like, we have to do what makes us happy. And that's what I did during college. I picked the subjects, the classes that made me happy and excited to learn and go every day and fill my brain with all this brain food of books and knowledge and conversations and professors. And then we leave and then I, I, I'm missing this thing at the tip of my appetite, the tip of my tongue. I have... I'm missing, I'm missing something. When I didn't take philosophy one semester, I was missing it so much. I remember going like that. I, I literally, I said, this is my major. I don't care. I had one class in it and I was entering junior year. And, and I'm like, hey, I need to do philosophy. I, I, I miss it. It's like my boyfriend broke up with me and I, and I can't see him or I'm in a long distance relationship. Where is it? I could philosophize every day, but I need that guidance, you know? And I feel like right now streamer consciousness is that guidance for me. And it would make me the happiest person in the world to just be able to grab whatever ideas come at me and say, you know, let's get on, let's get on live and talk about this, you know, or, or whatever, whatever ideas people comment below. It's like, can you talk about this? I'm like, you know what, let's do it. Or even just meet and greets, not even like doing the traditional meet and greets, but like, like Next. presentation meet and greets and, you know, just, my, my presentations <laughs> yeah like me being a professor and you guys are all my children <laughs> living uh, out my uh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. but like I love being inclusive and like everyone you know you learn the way you want to learn and the way you want to be tested if you want a presentation or if you want a multiple choice question or you want an essay that's yes. cool yes that's sick Exactly. Learning. I just like life is learning. It's never ending learning. Like learn with me, learn without me, learn all of like, I want to learn with you. I want to grow alongside people. Like be like, whoa, like that's beautiful. Like, I just and it's, it's funny because, you know, I noticed Anna doing this before and I pointed it out. She's like, oh my gosh, like, is this enough for a podcast episode? Like, we don't even know how long this is. I'm like, Anna, you already have this formula for a podcast episode but our formula is so fluid. It doesn't have to be 
all these variables, you know, you could restructure it and we could make a shorter episode. You know, it's not like we need the same formula every single episode. We're still experimenting with our layout, with our platform, with our message, with our words. So it's, it's cool. It's, it's really funny. It's cool. I feel like and, and it's cool because you're so emotional, but then I, with your Aquarius moon, you like to try to back up your emotions with logic and you're like calculating. You're like, okay, I guess the watch time will go up. And I'm like, I, what, 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 that's not the point. But yeah, I guess it is. That's cool. You know what I mean? But I'm like, wait, that's, that was your response? So like, let's do our own formula. Well, yeah, I guess that's valid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just like, that's the cool thing. That's why we like business, I guess. We all have like, like your, you know what I mean? Like, you like a- your Aries, your competition, like that stuff is like stuff is cool. Like I don't know, like it t- it tickles your mind pickle in different ways. Yeah. So yeah, it's very interesting. But for all the people that have listened, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we are here to question, not to answer. Thanks for wallowing with us. Thanks for watching. We appreciate. Yeah. It. Um. You know what the word of the week is? The word of the week. We're probably going to make a little song. I should make a book. Make a song. The word of the week. Well, I should call this also segment Gabberish, too. Oh, <gasps> great. That's my word. Gibberish, Gabberish, whatever. But um, my Gabberish. A Gabberish dictionary. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that's Wait, fun. Make up clout. Clout route. Did you make it up? Yeah, I, I, just, I just combine the words clout and route and rhyme, so I'm just like, no space, just put it together, squish yeah, them right. together, clout route. route. Right now we're on the clout route. Hey, we don't have we don't have any validation that we're going to be noticed one day or going to have a following or going to have people interacting with us or be understood by other platforms. There's no validation of that right now, but we have to just trust we're on that route. And that's it. You know, we just trust, just trust the process and just get validated by yourself. The cloud route. Wow, wow. That's what I've been thinking about. Cloud, it's interesting because I'm like, wait, what is my goal? What is this goal? It's like, I don't, I, I don't care about the fame. I don't want people, you know, I don't want people to be on my tabs and paparazzi, like say when I go take a shit, like, I don't want people to know <laughs> that, you know, but I just want to be connected to people in some way. That's it. That's the point, I think, connecting. I just want friends, like, from all over. You know, I just want friends everywhere. Like, I just love friends. Yeah. So. Friends. You never know who knows someone else. Exactly. Exactly. So, we are here to question, not to answer. Thanks for streaming our consciousness. Ghana is win in Spanish. And that's what we are. We're trying to win. <laughs> win what? I don't know. Whatever the game the universe wants to play with us. Yeah. Just life. Just trying to win. Life.